I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty hot out here. I'm already sweating and my hair is down. I should have put it up in a ponytail. That's okay. Continuing on with this documentary on my mental health journey and vlogging. So I am in a different place than before. That's kind of the point of being here in the woods. I like this area. If you're following me along, you're very aware that the last time that I shared on this mental health journey vlog, I discussed a lot about God preparing me for a storm that he was about to allow me to walk into. And I, get off of me, it's a bug. And I say this because I do not believe that God is the author of suffering, but he will allow certain things in our lives that are suffering and he will use them for his purposes and for our good because he is a good God. So where the enemy tries to come in and destroy and steal and kill, God will turn it around and use it for our good as his children and for his purposes. So I believe that, I trust in that, and although I don't agree that God creates suffering, I do believe that the suffering we do walk through, he allows it because he has given man free will. Us having free will is a beautiful thing and a very frightening thing because we are human and because we don't always do what we should do. We don't always do the right thing. We don't always seek out the interest of others. A lot of times people seek out the interest of themselves and that can cause ripple effects in the lives of those that are around the individual that want to make the wrong type of choices. But the good part of having free will is that our love for him and our choice to obey him is completely our own decision. We're not made to do that. We're not forced to do that. We do that because we choose him. And there's beauty in when we allow our free will to choose to follow the Lord, to choose to love him, and to choose to be obedient to his word. There's beauty in free will and there is sadly suffering as a result of free will. It is hot out here. I wanted to continue on with this vlog in discussing the type of storm that the Lord allowed me to enter into. Again, I took some notes on my phone so that I would stay focused, but I am allowing the Holy Spirit to just speak freely through me because this is his, his work that he wants me to do for him and I'm just a vessel. I am an instrument for him and his glory and so let's see what we come up with from this recording of this vlog. Let's continue. So the storm that I was allowed to walk into involved a certain number of things. It wasn't just one thing that happened in my life that was disturbing or upsetting or even devastating. It was a number of things piled on one another. So I've already shared with you that I had issues with infertility. I had a benign brain tumor on my pituitary gland, though God did heal me of the brain tumor. It still caused some damage in my psyche, my mental health, and so I had to face that trauma i went into a really tough season of burnout in ministry while we were in the middle of some amazing things that we were doing for the lord overseas but i was so burnt out that it was very difficult for me to focus on what we were doing and i couldn't find the joy that i should have found in serving the lord and seeing great fruit happen in our ministry definitely the burnout came from the stress of living abroad it's very difficult to live in another country to be surrounded by a different culture a different language different foods even though i knew some of the language i loved the food loved the culture that we lived in but it still had an element of stress especially since we were in a nation that was very controlled by the government. There wasn't freedom to do what we really wanted to do, so we had to do it in a way that didn't bring attention to what we were doing and still walking in obedience to the Lord in our ministry. And then on top of all of that, I was experiencing some type of midlife crisis within everything, and that definitely is a result of the burnout. I felt like I wasn't tapping into parts of me that I knew God had put in me to accomplish and to do, and I felt very confined in what I could do for the Lord in the environment that we were in. I felt confined in the organization that we were a part of, the sending organization, and I felt very confined I felt confined because we had so much we had to do that was required in our job description that didn't give me freedom or room to explore the things that I felt like God was putting on me to do. I just felt very 
trapped. This is my perspective of being in this organization. It's not the same all across the board for everybody, but this is how my personality responded. I really struggled with not having the freedom to do what I felt the Lord was calling me to do and my husband as well. And we were pretty much doing what we were asked to do by supervision and at the same time walking out what we felt the Lord wanted us to do. So we were pretty much pulled in two different directions. They weren't completely different, but our energy resources and our time was taken up by these two obligations we felt like we needed to do. I hope I'm making sense in this. So we were doing what we were told to do and we were doing what we felt God told us to do as well and very, very busy and burdened that we couldn't fully walk out what we felt the Lord wanted us to do because again our energy our time was all pulled in a direction that our supervision wanted us to accomplish now that's nobody's fault but our own because we signed up with this organization and we signed up to do the things that they asked us to do even though I felt trapped and confined it was my own doing it wasn't anybody else that I could point a finger to and say that's your fault no it was my choice it was my free will to have allowed myself to be confined in this type of environment and I was struggling with the decision that I had made. I was also struggling with different theological beliefs, what I believed versus what this organization stood for and the culture that they were. I was caught up in being disillusioned about some of the things with our organization and walking into it blinded and some of it I allowed myself to ignore and overlook. Overlooking those things that I actually realized I valued further down the road put me in a place of being very discontent because now now, now it was surfacing that this was an issue. Those theological differences, they aren't huge by any means, but they were enough to bring a lot of discontentment in my heart with who I was serving under while we were overseas. So all of these different issues resulted in me feeling very burned out, not just feeling burned out, but actually experiencing burnout, being dissatisfied with what we were doing because of the different things that were surrounding me personally, my, my, my health issues, issues with my organization, issues with what we were told we needed to do and felt led to do another thing. So all of this just really created within me a conflict of interest because I was at a place where I was maturing in my faith, maturing and who I was in the Lord and where I felt the Lord was leading me personally that was contradictive or contradicting what we had put ourselves under. Something needed to change and I didn't know how that change was going to take place. Neither did my husband and he had a different take on it all as well. He had a different perspective and that's okay. So we were somewhat divided about remaining on the field with this organization and then my discontentment just kept growing, just feeling dissatisfied with what we were doing only got worse. And finally, it all came to a head where one day, one evening, the stress of everything, the struggle and the strive of trying to do everything that we were required to do as well as pursuing what the Lord wanted us to do brought me to a place where the stress was too much and my brain could not handle it anymore. And that was very, very frightening because I remember the evening where I was stressed out about something that I normally would not be stressed out about, but because of all of these different components that were causing stress on me, this one thing that fell on me, this burden, was a tipping point and my brain could not, could not handle it. When I was communicating to my husband that night, I was forming words, but I couldn't form sentences. My brain was that impacted by the stress that I allowed it to be under. And I was probably this close to experiencing a nervous breakdown. And I believe that the Lord swooped me up and continued to protect me in all of it. But my husband and I knew that this experience that I was having and this complication I was having of speaking but not being able to form sentences was a huge red flag that we needed to get help for me. And on top of all of that, I was becoming more and more depressed because I wasn't living out what I knew I was supposed to be living out and I was experiencing panic attacks that I've never experienced before in my life in fact I didn't even I didn't even know I didn't have any any grid for what a panic attack was I just started feeling really anxious and the stress of everything was causing me to be built up with fear and anxiety 
and panic. And so we've got depression, we have anxiety, we have burnout, we have huge discontentment with what I was doing. And then I was also, because of all of these things, I was re-entering into culture shock. 